Yo, what's up, guys? So I actually just played against Firebat on ladder. Uh, I wasn't on my computer recording when this happened. I was on my phone, but I ended up getting a screen recording of it. So I decided to do some post-game commentary and uh, show you guys the match. So let's go. Uh, the aspect ratio and audio are a little bit janky because it's a screen recording, but uh, just forgive that, please, <laughs> and uh, watch the match. As you can see in the corner, we are playing against Firebat. Good old laggy end turn button. That happens on phone sometimes. I hope you like my invention. So I was wondering how fast to play this match. I decided to keep the mirror image for a cyclone or for Agmage Antonitis eventually. Come dance to my song. I see the Piper and then immediately realize it's probably Pogo. Like so I decide to start speeding it up and play Sorcerer's Apprentice. <clears throat> And it doesn't really matter if he removes our Sorcerer's Apprentice because then we can just Luna's at five anyway, which was the plan. <clears throat> so he does end up getting a lot of lackeys, um, but that's a shadow step that he doesn't get to use for Pogos. So I'm not too worried about that. Spirit of the Bat can be pretty scary with a deck like that, where he's going to be having the Pogos in his hand a lot. And having Lackey switch die easily. So he got Stolen Steel. Um, this version of this mage deck is a lot more focused around the, the OTK rather than stalling, so there's actually no Frost Novas in this deck. It's more of a kill your opponent than a stay alive and then kill your opponent. <laughs> so we decided to take up the bat because I'm scared that he's going to get a bunch of buffs on his pogos. Arcanite Reaper is a lot of damage from Stolen Steel. So this is the point where I start to get a little bit scared. And then we got our Sorcerer's Apprentice, so we just decided to just go all in. We actually get pretty lucky with our Cinderstorm, thankfully. Take three damage off the board. So we decided to just chuck a fireball face right now because it's a little bit greedy to try and wait for Alexstrasza. Even if we do point her out, it's still like another two turns and we can probably kill him next turn. And then we just play the Cyclone for the, the one spell BM. <laughs> Yeah, so that mind control tech could have ruined us if he ended up getting Archmage. If that sap would have given a, a fireball and etc. He probably could have gotten more being a rogue. Now that's what, this is what confuses me because if he had attacked my sorcerer's apprentice, I don't think I would have had enough with two fireballs and then another five damage from Antonitis. He would have been at one. And then he could have killed me. So, 
I don't know if I should have won that game, honestly. If he had hit my Sorcerer's Apprentice, I probably would have died, but regardless. I hope that was the real Firebat and not just like somebody named Firebat, but either way. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.